Welcome to part three of my walk and talk with Ilona Mooney. Ilona is the founder and CEO of WorkAhead, which is a startup that enables brands to hear directly from their workers in the global supply chain. She's worked extensively with companies in the fashion and textile industry. So in this episode, we talk a little bit about fast fashion. Isn't it a good thing that people can buy nice cheap clothes anytime, anywhere? Can you explain what is fast fashion? So fast fashion is considered the kind of pieces of clothing that you buy cheaply and you maybe wear once and then you throw them away. Okay. Uh, is that a thing? Because I, I was, I don't throw any clothes away after one use. Yeah, well, you know, if you go to one of these stores that sell like, you know, a dress Two for dollar fifth, yeah, or like 15 euros. So of course there's people who want to get new things and, you know, this is so cheap, I just want to get a new dress or... So is there, a, you're saying there's a reason that they're cheap? So, I guess it's this kind of shift we have in consumption that are we consuming disposably? So we buy something and we discard it. Or do we want to be more sustainable and more conscious in the way we buy and consume that we buy things we actually really like okay. and we reuse them and we repurpose them after the use and we recycle them. So there's a shift in the way we like, com- like just think about these plastic straws. So now there's been a big movement away from plastic s- uh, straws. And I've seen a number of different things like metal straws and like some outlets don't provide any straws anymore. And you know, it feels wasteful to put so much plastic, single use plastic out there that takes so many years to become back to earth. Totally. And it's made from non-renewable sources. So there's a big, yeah, big movement away from that kind of model of consumption where we are mindlessly yes, that's a good things and discarding them. Yeah, so and it's not the pro- so it's not we're not saying that you shouldn't buy cheap things. We're saying buy them if you want to keep them, right? Yeah, like being more mindful and conscious yes. and think about before buying. Is it something that will bring you joy, something you want to keep? Totally. Um, but is the problem, do you think the problem is in suppliers making cheap things available or people buying mindlessly? Uh, well, of course, everything, but isn't you know, it a if good somebody thing? buys something, you know, like, you know, it's us who are buying these things. And of course, it's beautiful that we can buy things that are you know, at the reach of many people. Yeah, isn't it a good thing that there's low-cost items available? Yeah, so that's not the, the issue. But of course, how we create these things, is it done at the expense of the environment and the society? And of course, there can be cheap things that are made beautifully. Mm. There's a, something called frugal innovation that is about innovating products that cost almost nothing and can be transformative. So for example, there's a microscope that you can you you can like print and then just fold it and you can do some kind of real things with this and it costs like five cents to manufacture so extremely <laughs> yeah so extremely like cheap thing that you can actually use for something so i don't wanna again this feels like why do we feel so conflicted about money when it have to be like okay is cheap thing bad yes I, I don't think that would dictate it's more like can we create things that are made in harmony with the human beings who live on this earth and with earth? Can we be mindful when we plan for those things and when we manufacture them? And, and when what, we consume them, yeah. can we be mindful? And how, what do we do to them after their life cycle is over? So yes. it's more about that kind of being more aware how do we affect everyone else around us and the nature. Perfectly put, (laughs) beautifully put. I think that's a perfect way to end it. Thank you. So, we can find out more about Work Ahead on the website. How's your website? Because last time we spoke, it wasn't really ready. Yeah, we have a website. You have a website now? (laughs) Yeah. And do you have company social media? Well, we're just starting that. Okay. I might ask your feedback. Yes, you have media. to get stuff on there. <laughs> you can give us some <laughs> honest feedback. How I does will. it sound to you? Because of course, one of the things is 
how do we talk about these matters in a way yeah. that is resonates and I don't personally like this like you're making slaves work in West Africa mm. you know you're exploiting them because if I buy chocolate I don't want to feel guilty <laughs> about it no you don't uh, but so true how do we talk about this matter in a way that feels empowering for us and reminds us that we can change so many things because mm. I find that's inspiring isn't it mm, absolutely and sometimes it can feel depressing to think of so many problems we have in the earth and if we just focus on how many things we can change that already feels so different key that's absolutely key focus on what you can do yeah okay that's it from me in this video thank you Ilana once again she's the founder of work ahead you can visit the company website on the link in the description below i'm tan lay thank you for watching and see you next time